My lab studies the molecular and cellular mechanisms of brain repair. Uh, brain repair after stroke or in some kinds of dementia, like vascular dementia. The goal is to understand how the brain actually does it, the molecules that signal while the brain repairs, and then to use those to develop new drugs that might promote brain repair in those two conditions. We have a fairly big lab and a lot of really interesting projects. One of the projects is to try to understand how neural rehabilitation has an effect. And so most people know that rehab does get you a little bit better, and sometimes a lot better, after stroke. But you don't get all the way back. So one question might be, is there a drug that might mimic neuro rehab? Is there a molecular neuro rehabilitation drug? One of the things about research labs is they have sort of a compelling intellectual goal, such as ours, repairing the brain. They also train graduate students and postdoctoral fellows, the next generation of scientists and clinicians. And so it's a really diverse place in terms of people. There are senior scientists working with the principal investigator like myself or faculty member. There are graduate students from all over the country. It can be quite a vibrant and exciting place. One of the projects we're very interested in is a stroke happens in one area of the brain. Say this is a stroke. Uh, there's dead tissue, but there's an entire area of brain around it that survives. But what we're learning now is it's, it's thrown off. The whole brain is a little off, even though the stroke is only in one part. And that's because the brain is all connected. And so there's not only a connectome, but in stroke, there's a disconnectome. We want to understand what is the stroke disconnectome. I think that when we discover the molecules, that lead to these disconnections, that lead to this abnormal signaling, we can reverse them. It's very rewarding. The idea that you have a tractable uh, pathway to, to help with human suffering, I think is incredibly motivating.